Hello viewers, welcome to another insightful episode of views and opinions here on Hill Media Africa. It's Ogunei Kiyomotala on your screens again and we are talking about the student law bill passed into law by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Mixed feelings has arisen among many Nigerians concerning the current loan bill passed into law by the current president, which is Bola Ahmed Tinubu. For many, it's as a source of encouragement to the less privileged so they can acquire better education. Why many others feel that the whole essence of getting this loan seems rather unattainable? For the whole essence of helping the less privileged, stay with us as we head on to our street parliament to get their thoughts on this topic. We also bring it to a chat room where we discuss more on this matter. Don't forget to like this video, share and also subscribe to be part of this growing progress and don't also forget to make your comments down in the comment section below. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. It will be pretty difficult to assess the loan. So I think it will lead to an increase in tuition fees. It's a welcome development if it's properly managed. It can't be that accessible like that of microfinance. I don't really, really support it. It's pointless. <laughs> if you actually read through the rigorous procedures you would have to go through to get that loan, you realize that I don't think it's, the, it's very possible for anybody to get that loan. If the loan is actually for the benefit of the young Nigerian students, I think it's cool. The current economy hasn't been really enabling for people to even cater for themselves. When the students cannot be able to pay the loan at the end of school, because you know that school of nowadays is expensive. The advantage would only be students getting access to good education for those that are less privileged. This is Nigeria, nothing comes for free for the meantime, and due to the fact that the economy is bad, like we cannot even get access to the loan because we don't even have people to stand in for, aside the tax or, um, tax or anything, we cannot even get it because it's pointless. Still on views and opinions here on Hill Media Africa, it's Ogunei Kiyomotala here again, and welcome to our chat box. Remember, we are still talking about the student loan bill passed into law by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And with me, I have two very ph phenomenal people. All the way from Akwai Bom, I have Victor Ezekiel. He's a public admin student, a lover of people. He's also the deputy speaker for the student union government, Fred, um, Federal Polytechnic in Ekede. Nice to have you, sir. Thank you very much. It's an honor. Yes. Um, with me is this beautiful Benanin Queen, Jennifer Inambufe. She loves traveling and everything fun, and she is the vice president of the student union government of Federal Polytechnic in Ekede. Nice to have you. Thank you very much, my pleasure. Okay, so what stood out for me was a major requirement for acquiring the loan, and it was the family income must be less than 500,000 per annum. Victor, do you think you can acquire this thing if your family is actually making less than 500,000? Um, I think um, it's something that um, if you love, you should, you should. Since the purpose of this loan is actually a reasonable purpose and not for um, advantage. Oh, Victor is talking about purpose and purpose strikes area with me. Well, Jennifer, do you agree with him? I actually agree with him, but not that 100% sure okay. because um, if really he wants to take that loan, I think you need to be rich enough, like 70, 80 percent rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, based on that that comment you made, we know that there there are unemployment. Yeah, in the country everywhere. And imagine someone getting that loan and actually leaving school. So, what do you think the person can do to like pay up the federal government? That's what I'm saying here. That if after collecting that loan and you left school, okay, what about after graduating? Since there is a low unemployment in the country, there is no high tendency of employment in the country. The, the employment in this country is very low. After graduating, you will go for service. After graduating, you will go for service. Yeah. Okay, what after service. going for service and coming back, and there's, no, job, no job. there's no job yes. for you to pay back that loan. And it's maximum and of two years. So after two years, two you, years. Must, you must start paying back. So the, 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 that means after two years, you are in a big risk of collecting that That's money. That's a big from mess. A big, really big mess. So, so collecting that loan, you need to be really... <laughs> Need to be rich, need uh, to buoyant, be you understand? buoyant enough. Yeah, you have to, to gather something. Accomplish <laughs> that, that mission. You want to embark on collecting that. You need to be strict wise okay. enough. So. so, Victor, if, as she said, 
the unemployment rate is very high in this country. So if the person cannot be, cannot pay up after two years, do you think this thing is going to be funny? Because it's not be funny of the federal <laughs> government. One thing I say about loan is, uh, it's not about you being rich to pay the, the loan. Because I believe if you are rich, you won't be applying for a loan. Yes. So yes. now, it's a way of financing. That is what we are talking about. A way of financing this loan. As a student, you want to get a loan to pay up your school fees. How do you intend financing this loan? You must you must look for a way to get a skill. Okay, you are saying that you should have a plan B rather. Plan B and plan C after getting the loan so that at least in case you don't have a job, you can actually finance. Yes, in fact, as a student, you first need to hold entrepreneurship as your first choice. Okay. Looking at the economic we are in Nigeria, you need a skill. You are coming to school. Okay, I do mean uh, uh, there were provision of school fees and to a point your parents was not able to give you the day you need a particular thing once you look for means to survive okay. you need a skill a handwork okay. it might not be necessarily something be given this um, um barbing of hair plates making yeah, of hair so, bags sewing yes, i understand what you're saying so have something doing have something doing school. establish your own just yeah. in case that there is no job you can rely on your skill yeah okay. you can become an so entrepreneur can, and yes. finance this loan back yes, bit exactly. by bit and one thing one good thing about being an entrepreneur is that Nobody is stopping your earning um, rates. So Nobody is saying like salary structure. Want. Yes. As much as you want. As much as you so, do your work. Yeah. Um, Jennifer, do you think this loan bill is rather too much? The procedures for getting yeah. this loan, do you think it's rather yeah, too much? Yeah, the procedure is very, very much. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Very, very much. Because <laughs> it's it's okay. really much. But I've it's got really of, much. After going to the lawyer, and maybe the lawyer will still need one or two things. You pay lawyers, uh -huh. like, not before, for free. It's not for free. So, if you can see, the loan you are getting now is 500000 And we know professional lawyers, that's, that the grant talks to all the, to this uh, loan. There's no way you will not waste up to 100000 <laughs> Yeah. And it's not only about meeting lawyers to guarantors the guarantors are, talks are there because that is the lawyers money. that will give the guarantor hope for you to collect yeah. that money. Because if there's no lawyer there, I don't think the guarantor will have that mind to sign or allow yeah. you to take yes. that loan. So I think the money is very, very yeah. poor. Though. I think this is the first thing we are agreeing on <laughs> on this show <laughs> because this uh, requirement is somehow like it's too much for people and it's too much. i think the rate of people that will be able to acquire this thing is not going to be up to like 50 percent what do you think uh, i doubt if it's going to be up to 30 percent because the structure of um, if you do even reach 10 percent we can't even appreciate that because i haven't seen <laughs> it to easy. be just um, government government yeah, things. yeah, it's yeah. Going, maybe it's going to be the followers of the president yes. himself that will benefit just, those uh, of those government officials that are in the office that yeah. are not that are not well paid government yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah, use, government it's just like yes. enriching just them, them do you get exactly, exactly. so i'm exactly. seeing it to go in that way the yeah. business people already doing business we say, let me just try and then um, train up myself no need to collect this loan because that loan of a thing is so distracts the requirement it's everything about much, and it's pretty the like recklessness <laughs> exactly, you, you, exactly you will not be able to rest well <laughs> I thought you're talking about purpose now. Okay, I, 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 don't again. Again. I don't want that loan again. Let's just hope for the best. Let's yeah, just, we've yeah. heard from um, Ezekiel Victor and Jennifer, and we've gotten we stopped at the point that we've gotten to an average point that even when you get this loan, have a skill, have something you're doing. Don't just relax because after two years, they'll come for your family or your or your friends or the guarantors. So thanks for having me. Thank you. Bro. And thanks for lending your ears and your mouth. I um, appreciate both of you. Thanks for coming with us as we appreciate your interest and your opinions in this current topic. We encourage you to make your comments down in the comment section and we would respectfully respond in no due time. In case you have further topic you want us to buttress on, feel free to send us a mail on our email address which is info at humediaafricatv.com. Till next week, I remain the Gunekyo Motala. Stay blessed.